It's Summer from Kokoda again. Hey, I'm Trevor. This is take, I think, 27 for this video, which we're really excited about. Uh, this is our MIA, our 2024 MIA, which is, as you can see, really sexy. 19 foot six family van, two or three bunks, mm -hmm. or one bunk. Yeah, you could do one bunk. You have to have bunks though. No, dual no tunnel bunks. boot, dual full pass tunnel, tunnel through boot, through boot, tunnel. <laughs> So you've got a full length east to west bed with two full tunnel boots at the front. Thank you. Large toolbox in the back, dual spares, lots of stuff to show you through this, guys. Gonna it's love a cool it. van. Yeah. Trev had this van and he did what, like five months in it? Full time, yeah. Yeah, with three kiddos. And yeah, you just had some epic adventures. We were actually talking about that earlier and how like you could go to some really rad places because it was um, a, a, a tight fit van, but a dual axle. So great ride, great off-road capability. Yeah. So like the 19.6 length, so it's a 8.6 meter travel length. Um, you, you will get pretty much any spot you want to go with it. You can get a bigger van in some of these spots. So I was saying to Summer earlier, like I took a 22.6 van, um, so three foot longer, and I probably could have got into this one spot I went, but it would have probably been a lot more swear words and, uh, <laughs> and a lot more mucking around trying to get it in and out of that spot because there just wasn't the turning circle to get through the trees. So whereas this van, all those sort of spots, I've not had trouble. It's a pretty cool beast. So I think we'll, as usual, start at the front. Start at the front. So at the front of the van, we have a D, this is a full off-road van. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> we're at the front of the van, it's a full off-road van. So part of that is that the coupling would be an articulating coupling. This is called a DO35. Uh, the 3.5 stands at 3.5 ton, uh, which the van has. It's about a 2.6 ton tear weight. So you've got a massive payload. Huge. Payload meaning what stuff you can put in the van. Water, Heaps. food. Heaps of shit. Yeah, fridges, beer, you name it. Um, so the articulating hitch is really good. Uh, you've got your handbrake holding it on a, on a steady hill. Uh, you have a brake, brake safe system, which means that if you were to ever become detached from the van and the car during travel, the brakes will come on the van. Uh, two chains, you got a really easy to use Elgo jockey Is that wheel. Your rap name? I'm your host, Two Chains. Let's get into it. You have the stone mesh guard, which you can remove. I thought it was um, so if you wanted to get in a really tight spot, you can you can make a tighter turning circle. Two nine kilo uh, gas bottles and a storage plate in here as well, which is great for like sullage hoses, sullage meaning like water hoses or uh, waste hoses. Uh, power, power cords? Yeah, awesome yeah, power leads. Well. Yep. All the dirty stuff you don't like putting in your toolbox or your tunnel boot. Yeah, all wet. Really yep, mm. yep. Um, this, this little unit here is a, um, a diesel tank. It's a five litre diesel tank. Underneath this is a stainless steel diesel tank. Uh, we just put the black covering on it to make it all matching. Because it looks sexy. Nice, yep. Uh, so it comes with a standard with a diesel heater. You have the, the toolbox. It slides on both sides. So this slide here is exactly the same as the other side. Except the other side has a 12-volt point, point. point for your fridge. So you can put a fridge on that side. Um, on this side, often people put a uh, barbecue or a generator, depending on what sort of traveling you want to do. Um, all lockable, which is great. And a little dust cap. Yeah, a little dust cap. On the front of the van, this one has, this is optional, so it's an upgrade if you wanted it, is a uh, front bar light, uh, which is handy for either Throwing it on when you're traveling into areas so that you light up around the car. So the kiddos can see some kangaroos and wombats but and whatever. hitching at night though, I've been camping by myself when I've had to hitch up at night or unhitch and that has been awesome to have on a van. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So what did you get in here, about a 50 liter fridge you reckon? It depends on the brand. Yeah, it depends on the brand, but-, but I, I fitted a 70 liter fridge in there. Um, my favorite fridge is the Engel, uh, I think it's 40, 39 liter or 41 liter, I can't remember. Um, it was pretty good in there. Yeah. I think it was a Mike Coleman 70 liter I put in there. Oh. But the, the angle is, yeah, my preference. Good to know. Should we come around this side? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So this is take, I don't know, three. Stop that. We said that at the start. I know. Doing it again. I got the clap. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so on the party side of the van, uh, we've got two full length tunnel boots on the MIA. A lot of reasons why this is great. Obviously, the real estate's amazing. Um, one of the best things, though, is if you opt to have a, um, a slide-out kitchen over here on the front part of the boot, you still have this whole full boot here to put all the stuff that 
you're gonna bring with kids and people and things and chairs and pool noodles and fishing rods and boogie boards and surfboards boards boards and, and surfboards. lilos and lilos. I still don't know what that is. That's tackle, cool. fishing tackle. tackle. Uh, Table. Soccer balls. Soccer balls. Tables. Tables. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, that's that. That's it. That's pretty much all you can. You, nothing. You're else. allowed to put other things, but we don't know what else you will put in there. Anyway, pretty awesome. Um, so with you, when you only have one tunnel boot, most vans have one tunnel boot, mm. uh, which is fine. Not our MI. But as a as a family, if you put a slider kitchen, you've only got this much space for chairs and all this stuff, cool stuff we just said. Work. So a second tunnel boot makes a massive difference for that. I feel like I just said that. I think he just mansplained what I already said. <laughs> he did a really good job. It has a really cool light. <laughs> and speaking of lights, yep. we've got a, our, our tunnel boot light um, overhead. So if you are cooking, this is a great feature to have. But also with the um, amber lighting, the, the, the bug off light. Anti. Huh? Bug off, Trev. Anti bug light is the orange. <laughs> so it's it's actually a really nice light or lighting when it's dark. When it's when it's dusk or dawn, where you got that really low light, they also go white. So you can click them to white and have a bright light to, bright. to make the space good. And then once it gets darker, click on the orange ones. You love them. Mm. Um, we're going to talk about an awning a little bit more than we normally do because we have changed this year to these uh, really really great awnings which normally sounds like a boring conversation, but I'm gonna tell you why it's not. Because um, with the older awnings, I would not struggle with the older ones, but it was definitely a lot more awkward and, and clumsy to use them. Um, one of the main reasons was just getting the leverage to put the arms up because those tiny little dinky handles that used to be on them were just not great to use. Whereas that, I mean, that's just, isn't that great? Like they're so comfy. Oh yeah, that would have bothered me. Thanks, Trev. The other thing is with the dual boot, <clears throat> if you're gonna have an outdoor, oh, there you are. <laughs> I just moved. If you're gonna have an outdoor kitchen, it needs to be on this side because it cannot be under the awning. It can be. Oh. But you can't put a annex on an it. An annex. So it's normally good to have it forward. And also it's nice forward away from the door. Yes. So you're not walking yeah. straight to it. So if you don't want this in the way, or um, if you're Trevor, uh, always clotheslining yourself. <laughs> Not that it's not funny, and we don't appreciate the um, the comedy of it. <laughs> I can't. He's laughing because I can't walk these out straight. I thought you were going to put an X on the ground for me. So viola. So much room for activities. <laughs> Heaps, and then just simply drunk and walk it back in. Look how much. See that was straight, Trev. I did great. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the other, the other thing with oh, this awning. Yes, go on, please. Let me jump in. Thanks is that these little dials on a lot of awnings, if you don't do them up when you go to travel home or to your destination, them. they're gone when you get there. Yep. These ones, they actually can't come loose. They've got a little nut thing on the back of them. That you can loosen them, but they can't actually fall out. And goes the whole length. Yeah. Almost the whole length of the van. Yep. Uh, it's really good. Oh, and the leash doesn't come out. Yes, so true. Like, it's awesome. You've so, also got in the awning, it has got a track where that leash that is. Bush that you can put a shade in here. So you can put a, um, another shade off the front, which for a beautiful spot like we're at today, not needed. Mm. But sometimes when you get to spots and you don't have so much privacy from other people, or if the sun's coming straight in, in the yeah. afternoon, you can put that shade. It's mostly for people. Most, I, mostly I use it for, for people. people. <laughs> mm. um, and on all of our dual axle vans, we do have the awning cradle here to keep it from bowing when you're off-road going to those amazing off-road adventures. All the bouncy bits. All the bouncy bits. <laughs> Giggle. Uh, as you can see with our GoPro. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, picnic table. What's what's really cool about this, Summer? Is. <laughs> Ow, that's the second time that bush got me. <laughs> uh, a, a bunch of these you need a key for, and we used to use those in the past, but now no key needed. So. It doesn't matter where the key is, you can just come and drop that down. Yeah. I Small do like thing, that. but it's like, it's, it bugs yeah, you. It is, yeah. It, it is annoying. Yeah. Um, all right, what else we got? We've Up got, uh, oh, the TV mount. Yep. So people always say too, like, oh, you're not gonna watch your TV. You know what? I do, I've done it. I'm guilty, guilty as charged. What about you? Do you ever no, put the TV not outside? Guilty. Not guilty. Oh, you're one of those. No, I'm Good one of for those. you. That's great. Uh, <laughs> 240 outlet, 12 volt. Um, and as we said, drop your 24 inch smart TV um, in the, uh, in a little holder there. And. Oh, uh, that's crap. <laughs> <laughs> the doo-doo box. Uh, as it will 
Now, people get so worked up about this. It is the easiest freaking thing to do. Honestly, I'd rather do this than half the other, put that anywhere, Trev, than half the other jobs on the van. <laughs> Can you get that for me? <laughs> I was really hoping that was gonna fall out again. Stop talking anyway, crap. Anyway, so uh, yeah, <laughs> super easy to use. It's just like you're going to the airport. I say this all the time, <laughs> just your little roll on. Um, honestly, guys, if you're worried about doing this, don't. Don't worry about it, right? It's easy. We're gonna do another video on all different types of toilets, so keep an eye out for that video. Oh, we are. Anyway, Trev chem loves toilet crap. this is a normal chemical toilet. It, it's really simple to use. You know, I jumped in on the crap bandwagon and you- That was a crap <laughs> joke. Really simple to use. <laughs> uh, we'll have a video to compare different types of toilets. So this is a chemical toilet. You will probably have heard of composting toilets or dry flush toilets. There's a bunch of pros and cons to any type of toilet. Whatever toilet you want, we've, we're gonna have it available and we can install it. Hmm. I'm glad you brought that up because people ask all the time, they think that we can't change the toilet and we can. Mm -hmm. Good job, Trev. Uh, so the MIA, not the MIA, people call it the MIA. It's the MIA, uh, has got a, do you call it the MIA? Yeah. The MIA. <laughs> MIA, which would stand for missing in action, which is not a great thing. Unless However, you, in, this instance, adventure. in this instance, it is. it's kind of cool. But yeah. for a military thing, we do apologize for any military people out there who may have been. We, we, oh, sorry for that. True. But for the rest of us who love camping and want to go missing in action camping, yep. missing in adventure. Then it's great. Maybe it's missing in adventure. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to pretend like it was my idea and use it. Good job, Anyways, Summer. Missing in adventure. Mm. Uh, so a three and a half ton tough ride suspension, which means you can kind of go anywhere. This is going to go more places than your tow vehicle is going to go, without a doubt. Mm, some people have got some pretty cool tow vehicles. Average tow vehicle. Yes, definitely. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this has got, so this is independent suspension. So the, the, we can it's show It's its own you, suspension. Well, she can show you that underneath, nobody. we can show that underneath <laughs> in a moment. Uh, but basically a normal suspension, on-road suspension would have a beam axle, which means that if you're going over, like say you drop your wheels into ruts or something like that, then you can wipe out the axle and Not drag gonna the happen. Not going to happen with this. And also you got the extra height. And nice, good looking tires. And yeah, so these are mud terrain tires, uh, which look really cool. Uh, they do have a quite a thick sidewall, so if you're going to be up against rocks and things like that and gouge them, they're really durable for that sort of thing, which is great. Uh, they're not just great for everything. There is a one negative thing is uh, the um, tow ability is not quite as good versus like an on-road tire. You can change them over for on-road tires, but they're not looking as cool. It's boring. Yeah. It's dumb. So one small negative and lots of great positives. Yeah. Let's jump under the van. So climbing under the van, I found a ladybug. Uh, so this is the independent suspension. So you've got a, it's called a uh, rear trailing arm is this thing. And you've got two shocks. Um, some suspension you'll see with one shock. It's normally called a uh, semi off-road. Some people will still call it full off-road. The two shocks uh, are important for when you go things like corrugated roads, especially Gibb River Road, where you've got hours and hours or days and days of corrugated roads. Um, the way the shocks work for moving up and down, they get quite hot. So a second one will help reduce the heat um, and, and make them last really well. And then you've got the, uh, the spring uh, with bump stops, so you're not gonna be breaking anything if you hit anything big. Uh, everything's tucked away really nice under here. So that's, your, that's what your suspension looks like underneath. You ready? Can you see my guy? Yeah. What if it's a girl? What if it's a they them? You know when you assume you make an ass out of you and me. It's a they them bug. <laughs> it's not a lady bug. <laughs> oh, she, they nearly fell off. <laughs> oh, they're holding on. Okay, good. Ready? So, this is the back of the van. Oh, you're terrible today. <laughs> got a reversing camera. It does have sound, so you can be like, stop. <laughs> uh, In can. the name of love, hammer time, or, or um, what's the other one? Collaborate and listen. Give me a bit. Oh, Show me. Just one bit, go. Oh, he fell. Which one? Which song? I've got all of them. Go. Which one? Any. It's taking too long now. Stop. In the daytime. You put that anywhere and I'll end your life. <laughs> That's in the video. Two spare, two spares, two jerry can holders. But the, the camera, 
No, nope, gotta start over because it's Bluetooth. That's in there. It's not. What do you mean it's Bluetooth? It's Bluetooth camera. Bluetooth connection. You Is don't it? Have to... It's the same ones. Is it? Yeah. Bluetooth camera. Wait, see why it's got the little No need to wire it. it in. We are starting this segment over. Really? Yes. Standard now. That was your change. Oh yeah, I forget though. Lots of them are mine. Because those are the ones that we used on the Rubble Float. So many changes, yeah. So good. Yeah. You, you just you just went away with a van that has the screen that you just plug in and it connects because yeah, it's Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't know it was on all of them. It's good, guys. We're gonna take, I've gotta go. Here we are at the, here we are at the back of the van. Trevor's in a rush. Uh, and you'll notice there are two full-size spare tires. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious now. Uh, there's a reversing camera that is... Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Bluetooth, guys. No need cool. to wire it to your car anymore. Nah, nah. You can plug and play to any car you connect, you, yep. you connect the van to. Which is nice. Uh, dual jerry can holders. And uh, status lights. update. Driving lights, each side. Because one side would be weird. <laughs> but these are getting upgraded to super cool, um, uber trendy, aerodynamic uh, Knight Rider lights for those of you born in uh, my vintage. 80s. 70s. I crept in on the 70s. Oh, yet. God. <laughs> Don't bring Jesus into this. All right, we're done. Yep. <laughs> So this is a two bunk. Thank you for pointing that out. So with the storage, but then you can go, once again, you can go three bunks. Are you telling me? Oh, you're saying it, aren't you? Okay. Oh, I'm saying it. No, I'll say it. No, I want to say it. Here we are still at the booty of the van. And uh, speaking of booty, <laughs> <laughs> there's a boot bag here. It's good. You can put stuff in it. This, this is good, uh, but only on the two bunk van. So if you have a third bunk, you it's get It's not a, so good. It's non-existent. If you get a third bunk, three windows. Well, it's not good. No outside storage here. I like to see how much I can irritate him when we do these. <laughs> I think I'm doing well today. Down here is the uh, stabilizer legs on all corners. Um, almost every van has these. Every van of ours has these. Almost every van in the market has them. It does surprise me that some don't. Um, they are handy, especially being a family, uh, because the kids are sleeping and you don't want the van to move when you climb into bed. Uh, you have a um, rear recovery hitch uh, points each side of the van. So if you want to get your car and van stuck, you can get pulled out with these. And I do recommend it. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, over here is your waste outlet. Um, so all your shower, your, your sink, gross, Toothpaste, spits, all that stuff's gonna come out of here. You'll normally plug a, uh, a hose on, a waste hose on and drag it away. Or it does also come with a, um, a portable gray water tank. So if you're in a spot where you have to capture your uh, waste water, you can capture that with the portable tank and, and go and empty that. And then over here is your, uh, your water if you're connected to mains. So if you've got connection to a tap somewhere, you can plug on and run the van like you do at home. And always turn your pump off if you're connected to the mains, please. Yes. What's that? This is your power inlet, so it's a 15 amp lead. A uh, little different with amperage on that. The 15 amp lead's got a slightly bigger... I don't need to talk Tooth. about that. Tooth. We don't need to talk about that. You ask us, we'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I'm a professional. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, water. It's kind of important to most everything. Um, on this van, we've optioned on an extra 110 liter tank, so we're packing 330 liters of water, um, which means that standard we have two 110 liters, which is... If I carry the one, mm -hmm. you can do it. 200, 220 liters. Yes. You're getting so much better. No, I used my phone just before this clip. <laughs> uh, and below that we have our outdoor shower, which is great for hosing off the kiddos. Or the dogs. Or the dogs, or your feet, yeah. or surfboards. I'm so glad there's no water in this because he would 100% spray me. Okay. I would. Hot and cold. Hot and cold. Or warm. Yeah. Because it's a mixture oh, yeah. tap. Oh yeah. Pretty I'm going to try that next time. Mm. And then cool. when you're not using it, you can just rest it. You don't have to pack it it's up every awesome. time. Yep. Uh, that's the exhaust for the, uh, the hot water system. 
Uh, gas and electric? Yeah, gas or electric. You can have them both on at the same time. You can. You can. It takes about 15 minutes to heat, so it doesn't take long at all. Uh, so you can pull up the location, flick the switch on, and you're good to go. Yeah, by the time I've made my coffee in the morning, it's always hot. Yeah. Yep. And then under here is two battery boxes. This one, you can see two batteries in here, but standard, it comes with a 101 by 150 amp lithium battery. Lithium, lithium is basically a, a much better battery than what, a lead acid, which is what has been around for many years. Uh, lithium will charge faster, hold charge better, and um, you can use more of the battery as, a, as opposed to a lead acid. I think you can only use 50% of the battery storage. And they're lighter weight. And they're lighter. Yeah, by, and a, they by last, a significant amount. And they last more cycles. So all these good things are happening. They're just um, better. These, the, the reason we've got two battery boxes is that you can always add a second battery. So we've got 150 amps, which is gonna run the whole van. You've got your 400 watts of solar on the roof. Uh, so that's pretty much gonna run your whole van without worry. The only time you'd need more battery is if you wanted to add a um, inverter to run your air cons and stuff like that. And then in that case, you will wanna add more which battery. Which we can help you with, easy, yep. super easy. Yep, just depends on the type of trips you wanna do. Yep. Um, <laughs> well, now that we're done outside, I think, I think we should somehow we we got this really cool feature that we haven't really shown anybody yet, but we can zap ourselves into different places. We are magic. Ready? One, two, three. Now How we're at the. <laughs> you go. We're at the door, so we're going to walk Thanks, inside. Captain obvious. Out here, we've got a, a light you can go on and off from here, and you've got a step light as well. Amazing steps. Summer, so good. You love the, I do. the step feature. I do. A lot of steps, they're very bouncy. Zoom in on this. Get in tight. <laughs> Lots of steps. Just one for extra. Almost every other step. Can't do that. They're not very good. No. Nah. Um, these are awesome. Super easy to go in and out. Your kids can do this job for you. Um, and then you got the door, which is great. Easy to open and close. And the light uh, switch to turn this on and off is inside. Yeah, which just is awesome. inside. Um, so great, easy to use. Once again, kids can do that with ease. You can separate it so you have a fly screen and you can lock that fly screen closed if you wanted to go out down to the beach or something. And that's a great security screen too. It is. Like a proper security screen. Yep. You know, the one thing I like to point out on our vans as well, Trev, is that we don't have the internal step well, aka the ankle breaker or yeah. the dust collector. Yeah, it's just like a flat floor through here. Mm. Yep, very good. Also, you have a blind oh, on right, the inside right of the door right. here, which is great, so it's not curtains, it's a blind built in. Um, it's a really nice feature on that. For when you're doing nudie runs. <laughs> Come inside. <laughs> Let's go inside. You want to take your shoes off? No. No, 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 it's, it's too hard. It's too much work. Shoes off. I didn't really want to take your shoes off. Well, I shouldn't have said it. Just... Ta-da! Here we are in the east wing of the MIA. <laughs> uh, Did so, you just fake laugh? So we've got a <laughs> um, east to west bed, which is when it goes across the van. Uh, it's a full length bed, which is amazing. Um, you're not kicking your feet. I'm not very tall but it, uh, you've got plenty of length to be your legs. 2.3 meters. Awesome. Mm. Um, and a queen width. So great size bed. Um, you can hang out on here with the kids and watch a movie. So this is your TV bracket. It will uh, come out, Watch it, put the TV on here, 24 inch for, for bed or from the couch. So you can move it around to where you want it. And that's the bracket you would move outside with the- um, Outdoor the entertaining area. Yes. Mm. Um, so you've got a really great uh, size uh, what is this called? Roof hatch? Yep. Skylight. Skylight. So you can lift that up for ex extra uh, airflow. And or you got stargazing. A, yeah. You've got a um, blind or fly screen if you wanted to keep it open for at night, which is nice for that. Um, you've got 12 volt fans. So for the bed. Standard. And all the beds, I should say. Yeah, mm -hmm. bunks as well. Uh, you have windows each side, which is great to allow the cross flow air happening through there. Um, really good storage above the bed. And being the east-west, it's really not difficult to get to at all. Um, you can climb on the bed if you need to, but it's not too difficult. And storage back there still. And more storage. Yeah. Oh, um, I can't believe we're messing up that bed. All of your, all of your windows have the um, blinds and fly screens as well. And you have your lights here, which are white. Or they're uh, uh, blue light. Um, so blue lights are really handy for reading at night or going to the bathroom. Just, flick, just touch the light once and the blue light will come on. Uh, and, and USB the, ports. Yes, and they all have a USB port on them, at the, underneath them. Um, so uh, really handy for charging phones or for the kids to charge their iPads for at night or a bit of quiet time during the day when they need a bit of a break. Um, and then this is new for 2024, standard with the um, 
Straight Lane Lounge. Straight Lounge. So awesome. this is really good. Um, as far as you get a much bigger table, mm -hmm. so massive and table. Really, it's just more versatile seating. Yeah. Well, you end up with more, more seating space. space. You yep. have a lot more people to be able to sit. Yep. Um, you can have also someone sit on the end of the bed if need be. Um, and you, you can, if you wanted to, you can option to have an L shape seating but why here as well. It? Yeah. Why would you? I, um, I wouldn't. May I? I just want to go back to the bed um, because we've got a drop down door here to go into the, uh, the tunnel boot. Um, and the reason that this is so good is because when you're traveling and you want to just get a little, you know, a little bit of extra space, and especially if you've got maybe three kids, or you've optioned on a washing machine, um, to be able to travel when the whole boot's full of your camping stuff, you keep a tub for your shoes or your clothes or what have you, and it travels, you know, on the bench or on the bed. And then when you've taken everything out of the tunnel boot, then you can pack it back in there. So it just makes for a really versatile space. And shoes. And shoes. Back to the table. Yes. So the, this table, if you wanted to bring a cousin or someone along or grandma, um, you can actually drop the table down um, to use as a bed. The tick, which is a table inlay cushion, um, is an option. So it's four hundred dollars, I think. Five hundred. Five hundred. Close enough. Ah, uh, some are for pricing. Um, you can put a cushion on here and make that another bed, which is quite long. I'm going to lay on it only because Trevor's six foot eight. To, only yes, just to show you the size. Oh, so actually quite, oops, actually quite a good size, uh, you know. Yeah, space. I'll, uh, I'll hang here. Okay. So just to, you're so happy. <laughs> so just to, uh, just to my right here is our diesel heater. Um, Trevor has asked me to point out that it is very quiet, which I think is a good thing to point out. Um, and you can also auto set the, uh, the temperature so you don't have to worry about getting up all night to mm. change the temperature. So we like those. And did I say it came with a remote? it does it in does. case you didn't know um very workable large kitchen space here one thing i want to point out i know my socks are really cute um a kick plate now just so you're not scuffing or stubbing your toes and it just allows you to get further in it just looks nice too doesn't it it does so we've got a slide out pantry and if you're savvy you may notice that our handles have changed we've now gone with these rectangular push button handles um, one of the benefits that I find of it is that I can visually see that my uh, cupboards and drawers are locked. Um, we've got a three gas, one electric cooktop with a mini grill below, which is great for doing pizzas, as Trevor would say, or for me, um, muffins and bagels in the morning. And below that, we have a pot drawer. So if you want, you can upgrade uh, and get yourself that full oven. But I do like having a place to put the big size pots and pans um, when I'm away camping because I tend to find that more useful. But again, if you want to upgrade, we can do that for you. Lots of overhead cupboard space in our van. So all your pantry items, plenty of space for them. Uh, we've got our uh, 240 volt um, microwave, which again means that you need to have your inverter going or be plugged in or running a generator if you can stand the sound. And no overhead uh, handles on these, so it looks nice and clean. So if you do upgrade and get the oven, you still have plenty of space under the sink to put your bigger pots and pans. Not a problem. Nice deep sink and We've got soft closed drawers. And the benefit, as Trevor has reminded me um, with these, is they are more durable. So uh, when you're on the corrugated roads, you're not gonna lose screws. Um, they are metal sided as well. So super, super. <coughs> Did I miss anything on that? I don't think they're metal sided. Yeah. They're metal sided. <laughs> <laughs> we actually changed to that a while ago. <laughs> so just, just so you know, um, and as you'll see, lots of workable bench space in this kitchen. So that's important for people that want to bring um, their thermal mixers or air fryers or coffee machines, coffee makers, anything coffee related if you're in Victoria. To my right, we've now gone with a 274 liter compressor fridge as a standard. Um, a lot of people do ask, oh, with the compressor fridge, does it draw a lot of energy and power from your battery? It actually doesn't, so. Maybe explain what a compressor fridge is. A uh, compressor fridge means that there's no gas. So um, you have a three-way fridge, which is gas um, uh, uh, or electric, and you can still change if you like to go with a three-way fridge, but standard, 
we go with the compressor. They will run more consistently with temperature and that's nice if you're shifting from campsite to campsite on a regular basis or if you just don't want to wait 24 hours for your fridge to get cold and head off on a whim on a weekend. Um, so below we've got extra space again down here and um, that's really, that's a lot of space under there. So the reason for that space, Trev, I think I'll let you take this one because this was your idea to do this. Well, the team, the team work on this. We're constantly looking at how to make the van more usable. So where space is. And also for me, I'm very attuned to noises. Like hence why someone was talking about the, how noisy or quiet the uh, operation of the diesel heater is. Um, when you're running a 12 volt pump, you can hear it running. No, it's not noisy, but you can hear it. We've now placed them underneath the van in a um, very specific unit to protect it. So it's protected underneath. So now it's quiet, very quiet inside. And we pick up this extra storage. The, the other thing is there's less pipes coming in and out of the van. So everywhere the pipes coming out of the van, you have somewhere that can allow dust in. And we're very mindful of not letting dust in. Hence why that's outside. Also behind the fridge with a three-way fridge, end up with two very big, um, fence outside. We didn't point that out when we were out there before. There was no vents. They don't exist. They're not there. This is an internally vented fridge. So you don't have big vents behind there. You don't have the plumbing coming in and out. So just from a purely design point of view, we've designed out dust from that whole area. Yeah. It is really good, isn't it? It is really good. So that is our kitchen area. I think we should meander on to the bunk and ensuite area. Okay. In our bunk area, as we mentioned outside, it is standard with a double bunk, but you can opt on a third bunk. You do lose the two drawers below, but we have lots of storage behind me in the cupboards here. So left-hand side is a hanging rail, right-hand side is the shelving. You can um, upgrade and get just shelving only. Really deep drawers, which I'm sure we'll have a B-roll cut to so you can see them. Soft close, super awesome. Now these bunks are really spacious. They're deceptively uh, longer than you think. These are 1.9 meters in length, so plenty of room for the growing kids. And again, they come standard with the 12 volt fans, the magazine pocket, and the reading light with the USB ports. Um, there is the uh, overhead hatch here as well. So you've got the good ventilation. You can uh, you know, let the kids breathe the fresh air. It's very, very good for them, I do say. And now we're gonna check out the ensuite. So we've, uh, we've done a really cool, shift in our 2024 uh, model of this van and that is that cubby that you see to your right and the bench above so we're grabbing every bit of extra storage and usable space that we can with this area we've got dual towel hooks in here so i have changed that from the standard towel rail to the two uh to the two hooks and overhead again plenty of space for your toiletries overhead ventilation and Again, plenty of storage below. The shower, super spacious. You're gonna be comfy in here. You're not gonna feel cramped. It's not gonna feel claustrophobic. Um, it is, yeah, super spacious. So we're pretty stoked on the little change that we've made to this ensuite. And uh... <laughs> that wasn't obvious at all. <laughs> So heading back into the main living area of the van. Now we're gonna talk about one of the other changes this year. Uh, we've got a full one piece composite, uh, 35 mil thick roof. So not only is this better for insulation, it does look a little bit nicer in my opinion, um, but that means that your van's gonna not have to work as hard to maintain that consistent temperature because you've got better insulation. Also up on the roof again, we've got 400 watts of solar with the 150 amp hour battery as a standard our dual um, AC and heat unit. So if you don't really need that diesel heater, you can just kick on a little bit of heat there. Again, 240 system. So uh, plugged into, uh, into mains power, your generator or the um, inverter if you option to upgrade onto that. So we're being uh, managed by uh, the Victron battery management system. Again, this is another upgrade that we've made for 2024. And it's definitely an upgrade. One of the best things that we like to mention to people about it is it's dual charging when you're driving. So not only is the tow vehicle charging your battery, but the solar is as well. Super, super good bonus. So remember that one. So I'm gonna show you the screen here. Just, oh, I should have zapped. I should have zapped over, damn it. Um, the nice thing about the Victron system is you can get as much or as little info as you want. You can set it up however you need to, but realistically, you'll just live from that screen. It's nice with the color coding, unless you're colorblind like 
our operations manager, Dave. Um, but this is great, super, super simple to use. And um, I don't know, anything else, Trev? Look, the van is pretty amazing. It, it's, it's, as we said earlier, it's great to get into the tight spaces. At the same time when you're there, it's massive in here. You're not, you're not feeling small, For confined. For a van. Yeah, and you can, like we spent five months full time in this, this model. It's amazing, we, we three kids, we're not confined, great amount of space, huge amount of storage. We did homeschooling and everything. We still took stuff we didn't need. That's how much storage the van has. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, if you're new to vanning, it's not too big. You'll get used to it from that point of view. Or if you're experienced caravanning, you're gonna love being able to get into those tight pods that you might not have been able to get well, to Well, we just before. towed it in, let's be honest. We just towed it into a pretty, you know, kind of quirky area to get into, which you'll see in the video. And um, of course, Trevor's towing, so he makes it look easy as always. But no, it was, it was great. Yep. So give us a call. Let's book in. Let's show you through. Um, or we can we can do a video call over the uh, over the interwebs. Yep, interwebs. Um, or they can you know they can go to the website and get a lot of information. They're on the like website. Like you're doing right now. Are you on the website? <laughs> yeah, thought so. They could be on YouTube. Hmm. Anyway, that's about it for us. So if it looks like this clip has been shoved in because I forgot something, you are correct. So I did forget to mention that, you see this cupboard isn't full of bulky battery management stuff anymore with the Victron system. Uh, what we've got up here is this really nice, neat set of buttons. What are those, you ask? Well, those are the fuse reset buttons. Um, so now you don't have to go through and try to pull different fuses out to find out which one is blown. Um, if one does blow, which is typically your lights, um, you'll see one of the buttons pop out, you simply push it back in. With the Victron battery management system itself, um, it's self-contained with fuses that will auto reset. So if it does blow a fuse after about 30 seconds, guess what? It just resets itself. So that is another really nice bonus. Um, the other thing that I forgot was to tell you about the floor, which sounds kind of odd to talk about the floor, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, this is the Jure floor uh, vinyl flooring and what's nice about this is uh, other than the looks is that it's stain resistant So grape juice red wine or uh, I don't know. What other stuff stains? Stain kids, things. kids 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 <laughs> Trevor um, <laughs> uh, Yeah, you don't really have to have to worry about it. So I think I think that's all that I missed there might be more I don't think there's more if there's more I'll tell you when I talk to you on the phone Thanks guys. Bye.